guys and welcome back to the Moaning Yorkshire and welcome back to the chair it seems like forever since I've been sat on here but we are back in the chair nonetheless. So for you uh, that are regular viewers to the channel which is the majority of you to be fair um, a few weeks ago maybe a couple of months ago now actually I did a video where I showed you what I picked up from a charity shop which was like loads of Nintendo Wii games and some Wii remotes and things like that and uh, I traded them into cash exchange to get a good voucher back so then I could buy games that I wanted uh, for my PS3, PS4 collection etc and uh, I always said and a lot of people said as well in the comment section that if you ever came across anything again to do an update, to do another video. Well, um, I have been still looking in charity shops and I've still been very much looking at car boots and things like that in between. I've picked a couple of bits and pieces up but I've never had like a big enough haul to warrant doing a video so I've mainly been buying games for a pound that sell for like three or four pound in cash exchange at car boots and things just to add to my collection not to make profit out of them so to speak um, but today I've been down to my local uh, town centre there's a couple of charity shops in there and I went down early this morning and I've hit the jackpot I really really have done well and uh, I'm going to trade them into cash exchange and then show you at the end how much I get. Uh, I'm going to go for a voucher because there's a couple of games in my local cash exchange that I actually want to get. So I'm going to go voucher, get the couple of games and then I'll, I'll still come back with some voucher. So without further ado, I feel like I've been explaining it like uh, the rules and regulations of breaking a Guinness World Book of Records there. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to start things off with a box set. I've got loads of DVD box sets, so it's definitely worth keeping an eye out on your local charity shops. Because they don't sell for much money, but they actually... Um, trade in for quite a bit on a voucher at cash exchange so this is dexter the complete series one to eight uh there's 33 discs in this so it, i did have to spend a lot of time going through it in the re, in the charity shop itself but the woman there was very uh you know generous and let me use the the, the place the till so to speak uh, just to go through it all just to make sure all the discs were there and to make sure they weren't heavily scratched but yeah 33 discs to go through but it was well worth it because this cost me one pound fifty and it trades in for seven voucher. They only give you three pound cash, would you believe, though, for it. So in terms of a cash return, don't bother buying it. I mean, I'm still doubling my money even if I get the cash, but for a seven pound voucher, that's absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, Dexter Complete Series 1 to 3. Keep an eye out of that car boots and charity shops. Like I say, it does take a bit of time to go through it all. It's if it's worth it for you personally. But for me, £1.50 into a £7 voucher is certainly not to be sniffed at. So the same charity shop again. I picked up some more box sets. Let's see if we can do them in order. Uh, yeah, we can. So I've got the uh, fifth series of Game of Thrones. Again, I believe this is a five or six disc so again, got to go through it all, got to make sure it's all there, but it is all in lovely condition, not even a mark on any of the discs for Dexter or this one. Again, as you can see on the price there, £1.50, and uh, this trades in, I think, for £4 voucher. So again, only £2 cash, though, you get for it. So again, in terms of actual cash getting it back, not much point, but a £4 voucher on that is lovely and uh, is worth picking up. If it's on its own, grab it and then keep hold of it until you get some more things. But for me personally, I ended up picking a load of stuff up and I'll just take it all in in one go. But yeah, there you go. So that was uh, uh, the complete fifth series of Game of Thrones. Never watched it, never really interested me. But uh, a £4 return for £1.50. Same again with the sixth season. This again is uh, a £1.50 purchase. And again, I think that trades in for £5 voucher for that one. But again, they only give you £2 cash. So uh, yeah, there you go. Again, identical again. I have to check all the discs, but all fantastic. Even got the slip sleeves and like the info and things in there, which are loose. So I think it's been looked after in a previous life for definite. And then this one, the complete seventh season of Game of Thrones. Again, £1.50. Uh, again, lovely. It's got the slip cover and everything. So really, really nice condition. Um, and that one, I believe, trades in for £6 voucher instead of £1.50. So £1.50 into 6 is very good. And then while I was looking at the Game of Thrones series, they did also have 1, 2 and 3. For £1.50, they weren't worth it, unfortunately. I think they only give you back, uh, I think it's a £1 voucher. 
and they sell it for like five or six so series one two and three not really worth it but i'd say five onwards definitely i saw that uh, series eight the seventh series actually trades in for 11 pound voucher for a standard dvd uh, box set so well worth keeping an eye out for those unfortunately they didn't have the eighth in stock and they'd only just come in so yeah uh, there you go those are those so they're all from one charity shop uh, and then these uh, this one is from another charity shop this one's definitely worth keeping an eye out because I'm sure it's there everywhere I'm sure it's for all to see in the world uh, but someone really obviously I don't I don't get cash exchange with these sort of prices but this is the Cornetto trilogy of the Simon Pegg and Nick Frost films so you've got uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and The World's End of course now to trade these in individually if i just went in with those three dvds i'd get a penny each for them and they'll sell them for 50p or a pound so that's not really worth it however this only cost me 50 pence for this box set and it trades in for two pound cash or four pound on a voucher they try and sell it for eight i don't really understand the logic in that when they're selling them individually for like 50p or a pound but they want you to try and buy the box set for eight. I don't get it, but I'm not complaining. I'm glad I looked that up, actually, because I was going to pass it by, but then I thought, no, it's in a slipcover. Sometimes they can be worth a lot more money in a box set than they are individually. So, yeah, I mean, they're just the standard DVDs. There's, it's not even like a special presentation case or anything. It is literally the three, C, the three DVDs with a box around it. So, yeah, again, 50p into a £4 voucher for that one is really, really nice indeed. And even 50p into £2 cash, well worth picking up. Keep an eye out for that. That'll be everywhere. Car boots, and I don't think many people would know about that one, actually, because uh, you'd just assume it was worth nothing. But it is worth a little bit of something. But, uh, yeah, a really weird one, that. But I'll be trading that in and getting £4 voucher for that. Again, this is all lovely condition. Then these, ah, this one was from a different charity shop, different to the, the other two. So the first four I showed you was from one charity shop. This one was from another. And this one was from my one that's just at the end of my road. And this is a game, actually. This is Lara Croft and the Temple of Orisis. Os Os Osiris. I don't really play the Lara Croft films, uh, at the games, I've never really played them at all. I think I played the first one on the PS1 when it was like the whole new thing. Uh, comes complete again, disc, lovely condition. That was a pound that, that trades in for £3 cash or £5 voucher, so a very, very happy return with that one. Uh, again, it'll go, I, I'm not interested in it, but it'll go towards the games I do want for the PS3 in particular at the moment. So uh, yeah, £1 into 5 that's a very, very good purchase. And then these were from a car boot last Sunday. It was a rather spontaneous one. It was in my local town hall. They've never done a charity show, a, a car boot before, as far as I'm aware. And uh, I'm not sure if they'll do another one. But these were all 50 pence each. Uh, I did well on some, not so well on others. But uh, I'll still be getting more than my money back on a voucher. But just not as much as I was expecting, maybe. But there was a big box a big box of xbox 360 games and there was some massive titles in there that were worth a lot of money but unfortunately the discs were absolutely shot to pieces and i thought for 50 pence each even if they got the manual in them i'd still pick them up because the manuals are worth something or the slip cover you know to have a disc you know a box only copy would still be worth something to the person that's just got the disc but unfortunately they were in such poor condition um that they weren't even worth picking up for 50p. The best one was Need for Speed Most Wanted, which I think is a £55 game on the Xbox 360 that Cash Exchange sell it for. I think they give you £40 on a voucher. It was sat there, but unfortunately for me, it was just destroyed. It was ruined. The, the slip cover, the case was all knackered. It was all broken and damaged. There was no manual and the disc was just shot to pieces. Not only was it scratched, it had also started to degrade and it, it wasn't playable or salvageable. So that was a shame. But throughout the mess of games that were there, I did manage to pick a few good ones out in terms of good condition anyway. The first one being Colin McRae Dirt 2. For 50p, I think I'll get £1.40 back on a voucher for that, so not a massive profit. Not worth taking it in on its own, but if you pick it up and keep hold of it, then with the other stuff, it all adds up, doesn't it? So, well worth it. And that was in really lovely condition. 
So, you know, some good games are in there, but most of them were shot to pieces. Unfortunately, I've not got any footage because I didn't expect to make a video out of this. Um, the next one is PlayStation 2 uh, Sword of the Samurai. Never even heard of it before, but again, lovely condition, complete with manual. Uh, not a big expensive game. I think they give you a £2 voucher back for that, but again, when I only paid 50p, it's worth it. Then we come to Call of Duty 3 on the Xbox 360. I thought this one was worth a little bit more than it was. I know the Xbox 360 games have started to go up in value quite somewhat, particularly when the stores come down. Uh, again, lovely condition. The disc on this one is a little bit iffy. Uh, if you look at it in certain light, you can hardly see a scratch. You look at it in another light, you can see quite a lot of minor surface scratches. It'll play absolutely fine, I've no doubt about that, but it just depends what light is there when you get to the cash exchange, how thoroughly they look at it. But it's 50p, I get a £1.60 voucher back for it, so if they don't accept it, it's not all over, it's not the end of the world. It was worth picking up, I thought it was worth more than that, I thought it was about a £3 or £4 voucher, but nonetheless, worth a go, worth a try, worth trading it in and uh, we'll give it a go. And then this one was the best one from that car boot itself and the one that was in really good condition. X-Men Dynasty? Dynasty? Uh, Destiny even. Yeah, there you go. That shows you how much I know about X-Men games. Uh, but this one was like a gem among a load of crap because that has got complete with manual and there is not a mark on that disc whatsoever. It's like it's never been played and when there was a big stack of games and a big box full of them that were just shot to pieces it was surprising to see one in there in such lovely condition. Again 50p that trades in for a £5 voucher so I've done really really well on that. So that is everything. I'm going to go off to cash exchange. I'm going to trade them all in. I will be buying a game or two there if they are there when I get there. Um, I'll show you what I bought and then show you how much I've got left on a voucher but we should be in for a good return from however much that worked out. I'll work out how much it all cost me and uh, we'll do a assessment at the end. So yeah I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I'm back from my venture to cash exchange with all those lovely items that you saw earlier on in the video. Um, so, there was just one item that didn't take. The Call of Duty 3, I said, was a little bit scratched and they might not take it. They did actually take that one. Uh, the one that they didn't take was Sword of the Samurai on the PS2. Now, that's because it didn't have a PEGI rating. It's a foreign disc, which I didn't actually know anything about that. Uh, but that's not a PEGI rating, so by law they're not allowed to take anything unless it's PEGI, PEGI rated. So, yeah, it's a, I've actually looked at the back now and it's actually in German and Italian. So, it's um, yeah, it's a strange one that, but um, it's weird how they w wiggle the way over into the UK, isn't it, when it's a foreign copy. But it, it seems readily available in the UK anyway, and it's not really worth that much. And I got £2 voucher for it, and they sell it for 5 But uh, yeah, they didn't take that one, so that was 50p. Never mind, as they say, and uh, I'll just add it to my collection, maybe have a play on it, see what it's like. It might be good, it might be absolutely dog shit, but we'll see anyway. So, how did my trip to Cash Exchange go? Well, it went very well, as you can see. I've got nothing left, and uh, I picked up the games I wanted. So, not any iTicket or iValue items, but uh, it completes my PlayStation 3 collection for the WRC collection, which is uh, WRC 1. Uh, which, as you can see, only only a couple of quid there, uh, if it focuses. I don't know if it's quite focusing right there, but uh, either way, I'll put it in front of my face, then it might focus. There you go. But yeah, that's that one. So I've never actually played the first one. I only ever started with WRC 2, and I've still got that copy now. But the WRC games, getting really into them again. It's unfortunate that the servers have actually shut down for the first and second uh, iteration of WRC. So this one and the second one, the servers have shut down. But 3, 4 and 5, the servers are still online at the moment. Not that anyone plays them, but uh, yeah, a bit of a shame that the servers have shut down on that. Because I've got a friend, uh, Jam Sankeith Gaming, James, uh, that loves his World Rally. And we've been playing 3 and 4 together quite a bit recently. So it's a shame we can't jump on the older ones. But uh, nonetheless, picked it up for my collection. That's all good. And the other one I didn't have was the other end of the stick, so I didn't have the first one. I also didn't have the last one, WRC 5, this one is. This was available on uh, PS3 and PlayStation 4. It was a cross-generation uh, game. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. This was a £12 game. There wasn't many of these made, actually, and it was the f one of like, the last PS3 games to come out, so it, it doesn't come with an instruction manual. Uh, it's not that it... 
it's missing it from Cash Exchange. It just genuinely didn't have one. It just used to come with a little slip just to show you the instructions, which this one hasn't got, but I'm not too bothered anyway. But yeah, for £12, very happy to pick that up because uh, it's not readily available anywhere. And uh, on the likes of eBay and stuff, the, the charging like £20 for it. So this at 12 if you can see, I'll put it in front of my face again, um, is a great pickup. So yeah, I picked up those two. So £14 total there. And I've got myself, oh, if it's running away, £24 on a voucher, which is nice. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Really happy indeed. It uh, expires in a thousand years. I'll cover the essential bits up, I think. But I'm uh, not sure if you can see that number. But yeah, £24 on a voucher. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I'll get that uh, used up for other PS3 games that I'm wanting to collect. Maybe had before, but haven't got them now, etc. But yeah, I think all in all, a very fruitful day. So the total that I spent for those was uh, £9, I think. £9 or £9.50, if I remember rightly, uh, for all of those. And to get £38 back on a voucher, spent obviously 14 of it, left with 24 I think that's a great a great day's work, really, to be honest with you. And it uh, means that my collection can continue growing. So, And it helps the charity shops out as well. I'm not one of these resellers that is going to sell it and make it just loads of money for profit i just I, I i don't i don't agree with it but uh i know i appreciate everyone needs to make a living but it's not right for me but for me i think you know trading it in for cash exchange voucher and feeding your hobby of gaming and things i can't see anything wrong with that but uh yeah nonetheless i hope you enjoyed this it was nice to do another one of these it's been a few months but uh yeah i, I can't get uh, good bargains every day but today was the day i dropped on so thank you so so much for watching guys let me know if you'd like to see another one of these again if uh, if and when i come across any other bargains in my local charity shops and car boots and things and uh yeah i'll see you all again soon thanks a lot for watching guys and as always much love